Uh, welcome to a very brief introduction to data visualization. Uh, I'm Scott Davidoff. The first part of the story really is just to communicate why visualization matters. Um, one of the fundamental tenets of this entire course is really about the fact that all of the tools that we have are becoming prolific at generating data. And we are looking for better and better tools that allow us to understand that data. And data visualization is one of the most powerful tools available to us. Why should visualization matter? Well, let me give you a number of reasons. And I hope that they tell the story of the things that visualization can do. So the first thing that visualization can do is it can reveal invisible parts of the world that we don't have access to. You can see in this um, fluid dynamics video of air coming across a wing how because unique uh, applications of visualization were applied that we're able to actually see eddies that are normally not visible. Um, Another reason is for us to be able to capture events as they happen in a way that's not available. Uh, if you look at this particular image, this is actually taken by uh, a physician from the 19th century uh, named uh, Etienne Murray. And Murray actually figured out with this device how to create a visible marker of the pulse of a human being by capturing the force in the veins. Another thing that we can do with visualization is to show parts of the world that are important. I'd say most boat pilots would be really paying attention to the shallow parts of this map. Another one of the things that visualization can do is it allows us to conduct analyses and understand the world in a way that is hard just given different types of data. Uh, the example that I'm showing here is a map of, that shows the um, outbreak of cholera in London. And if you, um, at, at this time, a physician was trying to understand what caused the outbreak and had this, in, this incredible insight. What if we took all of the locations where each of the victims were identified and plot them on a map? No one had done this before. And as you start to see the actual, the most intense outburst of cholera focuses around the location of a well in the center of the screen. That well turns out to have been the source of the cholera outbreak. And this was one of the first examples of how placing uh, scientific and medical data on a map showed humankind that we have an ability to understand things that weren't available previously. Another one of the things that visualization can do is it can help us tell a story. You can see in this slide, um, Watson and Crick have built a three-dimensional model of DNA. And while they understood DNA and what the helix meant, by giving it a physical embodiment, it allowed the rest of the world to understand what it was that they were coming up with and what exactly this helix shape meant. Another one of the things that visualization has allowed us to do is to see things that simply happen at a level that's um, not available to our perception. Um, if you look at this picture from the very beginnings of photography, Muybridge determined a method to capture rates of uh, frames of film very rapidly. And at this time, no one actually understood how a horse's gallop functions. And you can see that this was the, actually the first evidence that when a horse runs for some time, it's actually not touching the ground. Um, this kind of information was not visible to human beings before the advent of this technology. 
So visualization provides an amazing capability. And the way that I like to summarize it is to look at uh, Doug Engelbart, um, Turing Award winner Doug Engelbart's description of what he thinks computing might be able to accomplish. And it's not to try and replace human intelligence, but rather to increase the capability of humans to understand complex problems and derive solutions. Effectively, what he is saying is computing provides a lever that is rarely accessible through other media and that data visualization magnifies our ability to understand science and ultimately the universe. So I hope this is an enjoyable journey and um, let's dive in to some of the very basic facts about data visualization.